This is Susie now, and this is some of my uh, little quilt creations that I've been working on. Let's take it back further and then come up further. And that's, these are just some of the things that are on it that I sew on besides the beads. And this one has silk, regular silk on top of it. And um, I have to trim it up yet because it's, you can see that it's not trimmed. So that one has quite a bit on it. That's just plain old uh, cotton gauze. Uh, not gauze, but um, cheesecloth that I dyed. And a little lace. A strap from a watch. And then I first I sewed the three pieces together with the silk on top. And then I added all the beads. And then here's another one. This is plainer. I didn't put any silk silk on this one. I hadn't bought it yet. I tried silk organza and I didn't like it. So that that uh, I wanted some regular silk so I had to buy it online. Because Joann's didn't have it. That's about the only fabric store we have that would have anything, any kind of silk. They had silk organza, but I don't like silk organza. So this, the focal point, is of course the medallion in the middle. And the beads around. This one doesn't have too much on it. This is a kind of a little ocean scene. And then that's a Murano bead I got in San Diego. little charms little little dolphin and this one I haven't trimmed up yet either you can see it's got ridges on it and then I'll go to this one this one is quite a long one. This one I'm calling Healing the Veins of Life. This one's about my heart attack. Let's see if I can tell you how it is. Okay, this started over here. And it's all in disarray, as you can see on this side. This was before my heart attack. I had my heart attack on uh, last day of June. I was in the hospital from the last day of June to the, the, I think, of 4th of July, 3rd of July, when I came home. And then two days later, I fell, and I'm still recovering from that fall. But this is where my depiction of disarray. My beads, mostly beads. Let me go a little closer. Rano beads, the bigger ones. So this section is all Go a little slower here. Now you sequins and beads mostly.
And then I hit the middle and had my surgery where they put in seven stints. So I used the medallion. Whoops, excuse me. Put in the medallion. This is where my healing started. I'm settling down, depicting, settling down. And then here's where my rehab started. Those are buttons. That particular one is button. And those are leaves showing showing how I'm settling in with my new stints. Depiction little hearts. Little hearts. Bling. A lot of little hearts showing my healing. Those are like little, whoops, sorry, little charms and, and uh, beads. So let me pull back a little bit. So that's my healing. And then I have one more hair that I'm work, working on now. It's a work in progress. <laughs> and it's the silk on top. You can tell. It, what, this, what the silk does is it uh, really it, um, gives it a whole different touch. It, uh, I used uh, silk thread to sew the lines on and I did free motion quilting on it and then I am adding the beads and the beads are uh, with sequins behind them so they reflect in pearls and haven't named this one yet haven't named any of the others except that one for my heart attack but uh, this one Got a long ways to go on it yet. And then this is my working chair. I have a nice big light my daughter gave me and my little table, my little trash can this is my little trash can my little chair and this is what I, my tray that I sit on my lap with so I have my beads, different selection of beads and I change them all the time and my scissors and that was an old necklace I tore apart Really, really got some pretty, pretty things on it. Some old lace. Beads. My thread. Excuse me. I got some mixed beads there that I'm using on it. I bought some earring bases, so I might use those on my earrings. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, then I've got some more down here that I haven't decided what I'm going to do with yet. Let me pull back a little bit. This is just the base. Silk on top. Well, of course I trim them up. 
But see they're see they're so different when you add the silk. It softens them and makes them way more luxurious. That's a pretty one. That'd be pretty an ocean. And here's a silk hanky that I dyed a little bit. And here's another one that I dyed. As you can see, I made quite a few of them. Don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. Put lots of beads on them for sure. Those are my books down there, my bead books that I reference every once in a while. I love this corner because I have lots of light that comes in here. And uh, it's just really, really nice for me to sit here and in my little spot. So there you have it for today. I bought some furniture from my daughter. I got that couch, got those two chairs, got rid of that big old round couch set I had. I didn't like it. And I have two TVs in here because the big one hasn't, isn't hooked up yet. I bought that for my daughter. And uh, the little one we use. Flat screen. So I'm going to put it maybe in the other room. And so I love looking outside. We live on a on a corner with lots of traffic so I can watch outside and at least see some kind of movement. I'm pretty hyper so I like to see some kind of movement. I got these tables from my daughter. Everything in here is from my daughter and her husband. They're very generous. They gave us all these pictures back here so I have to hang them. I don't know where I'm going to put them yet but I'll figure it out. And that's kind of Kind of it for now. Uh oh, telephone's ringing, so gotta go for now. I guess he already answered it. Bandit, where are you? Bandit! Gotta get ready to iron. Iron hubby shirts. My dog's kennel. See, I leave the door open as long as I possibly can because I like the fresh air. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello. That's my dog bandit. I call him dog or I call him little one. He's pretty small. Oh, there he goes. He's a papillon. And uh, I think they call it a St. Charles. He's kind of a mix. Anyway, I'm going to take that TV, that TV down, and I'm going to put the big TV up there on the, on the fireplace. So we'll see how that goes. Take that mirror down. And my daughter, I got that table from my daughter along with those two end tables in the living room. I'm going to do them over. So as you can see, We'll go back here and say hi to the, the big boy. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> What's going on? We're just looking at your mess. Looking at my mess? Yeah. Looking at the dog. Okay. Okay. That's all for today. That's Susie now. I think I got... Oh no, I have one more I'll show you in here. This is my my studio. My studio. Wall to wall. Stuff. There's another art quilt that I did. I love that one. I love the design. So this is the one I just finished too. This one is the Serenity Prayer. And then it's got little fur on it. And maybe I should do it this way. No? It's got beads all over it. 
This one is has silk or guns on it, and I didn't like it as much. That's a lure, a fishing lure that I cut off and stuck on there. Some of my art quilts, all kinds of crazy stuff. This is a this is something that a friend of mine made that put together the guild for Corona, California. She was the first one to start it. She since gone into a home for the aged, but I have that to remember her by. She was always really good to me. This one we've already filmed before. And that one. That's dice that I drilled holes in. Little lace. You've already seen these before. I have them on YouTube. And the one for my mother. You remember it's from my mother and the little frog I made. And that's my cancer quilt. Me at the beach. Another little quilt that I made and dyed. I dyed both of those. That's wax I did. I can't see it very good. There. And that one. Picture in Hawaii when we went. My friend. My friend. <laughs> Where am I? Yeah. Oh, there. There's my friend. And her mother. Her mother passed away about three months, four months ago. My friend in Idaho. Boise. Nita. My friend Nita and her mother. We've known each other all our lives. And then over here, of course, I have the apron that I made. Oops. Kind of funky. Lots of beading on it. And then this one. More of the beach. That little one that my friend made for me. Oh, and then I got one up there that's Day of the Dead. That's see it very good. Okay, that's all there is. And my big window to see out. So Susie now, talk to you later. Bye. Oh, I got faces. I'm making faces.